To sew a bead on your fabric, you first want to make sure that your needle is small enough to go through the bead. Many needles are too large and they won't go through the bead. This one will work fine. So we'll put our bead down and we'll start with a beginning tack, the same one that we've done all along. We'll take our needle and we'll go up. This time I'm on felt, so I won't be able to count over two or three threads like uh, we did when we used the demo cloth. So just a small little dash is fine. We'll go down. And remember, we still don't bring our thread so that the knot is right up on the felt until we take our needle and we go through the two threads just below the knot. And then we'll take our needle and pull it. That'll make a nice, secure beginning tack. And I always like to trim these tails off. Again, bad side, yucky side, or the inside of our work. If you're doing your felt project, that'll all be on the inside. Our needle will go right back up. And then we'll take our bead, put the needle right through the bead. And you can go right over here, the length of the bead or width of the bead, however you want to look at it, and go right down. Or you can also just go right back down into your beginning tack. This time I'm going to go down over here to put my bead on. And if we get a loop, which we did, that's because one side of the thread on one side of the needle is longer than on the other side. We'll just put our needle down and we pull one side of the thread and then pull the other and then pull your needle to make sure that the thread gets evened out on each side of the needle. We'll go right back in by our beginning tack. Just like when we sewed our buttons on, we don't want to have too many holes where we go up and down. We want to just pick one hole for up and one for down. Then we'll go right down where we went down the last time. And depending upon the size of your bead, just like when we were sewing buttons on, you can determine how many times you need to go around. I think I'll get this in here a little better. And if something's going to be washed or worn, you certainly want to go around more times than if it's, say, for your stuffed animal, which is obviously not going to be worn, probably won't be washed. At this point, you can just do an end tack. We'll go right underneath the threads. And then we have a little loop here we'll go through. There's one. And I'll do that again. Go right through the loop. I like to do this three times. And then at this point, I can cut an overhand tie, but if I'm going to put another bead on my project, I certainly can travel my thread to another spot on my project and put a bead on. I would caution you, though, if you are sewing with dark thread with a lighter colored fabric or felt, uh, that you may not want to travel because you will see the thread underneath. And for something like this, I would use a pink thread. I wouldn't have used the black. I've only used the black just so it's easier for you to see on the podcast. So for now, just put the one bead on. So I'm going to turn my work over. I'll stow my needle right in the work. And I'll go, I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread. Separate it with my thumbnails. And do my overhand tie. One. Two. And then I'm ready to trim. And always keep in mind when you're sewing that when you get ready to do your end tack, make sure you have finger's length worth of thread. Otherwise, it'll be very difficult to do an end tack. And there you have your bead on.